Amidst the economic challenges facing American higher education, institutions have increasingly relied on the use of adjunct faculty. This shift from largely tenured faculty to the current model of non-tenure or adjunct contingent faculty has brought real-world experience into the classroom while also serving as a tool to address the financial challenges facing American higher education. But many argue that these non-tenure-track employees are treated unfairly by administration and their tenure-track counterparts alike. In fact, this growing class of academic professionals work with little job security, a lack of benefits, and statistically low wages. Some even refer to higher education's use of adjunct faculty as a crisis, painting the struggle of adjunct faculty in terms of below minimum wage salaries and job uncertainty. Adjunct faculty play a critical operational role in the Department of Business and Economics at Bethel University. This analysis will explore the growing use of adjunct faculty in Christian business higher education. Bethel University is a Christian liberal arts institution located in St. Paul, Minnesota, with a total enrollment of approximately 6,000 students. As a liberal arts university, Bethel offers more than 100 undergraduate and advanced degree programs through a College of Arts and Sciences, Graduate School, College of Adult and Professional Studies, and Bethel Seminary. Bethel University is affiliated with Converge, with roots in the evangelical Christian tradition. Bethel is a part of the Council of Christian Colleges and Universities, known as CCCU, and is accredited by the Higher Learning Commission. Bethel's business department started in 1975, and a separate economics department was added in 1980. The two departments were combined in 1990. The department is home to 15 full-time faculty, 12 adjunct faculty, two support staff, and nearly 500 students, making it Bethel's largest undergraduate department. The purpose of the department is to engage students, staff, and faculty in the learning, teaching, and application of business and economic knowledge to increase the well-being of humankind. The goal is achieved by serving and pursuing the principles of love and justice in a diverse world. The business department offers four majors, including business, accounting, finance, and economics. Department students are challenged to engage in learning practices that honor God, seek truth, and are committed to excellence. Department faculty strive to engage, challenge, and prepare students to live a life both during their tenure at Bethel as well as following graduation that honors God and embodies the institution's core values. To analyze the use of adjunct faculty in the Department of Business and Economics at Bethel University, we'll use this simple matrix that organizes five organizational elements by their associated three cultural frames. To best do this, I engaged experts in the department, including the incoming and outgoing department chair. Respondents were first asked contextualizing questions to gather expert insights regarding organizational culture and the opportunities and challenges associated with the use of adjunct faculty in the department. In terms of organizational culture, respondents were asked, how would you describe the organizational culture of the department? Next, opportunities in terms of the use of adjunct faculty. Respondents were asked, why is the use of adjunct faculty important? And finally, challenges. What are the associated challenges with the use of adjunct faculty? Organizational members were then asked to respond to a series of questions specific to the use of adjunct faculty in the department that reflect each of the five organizational elements we will explore. That includes, first, leadership. What is the leadership role of adjunct faculty? Second, structure. How would you describe the authority and responsibility of adjunct faculty? Third, communication. How is information sent to and received from adjunct faculty? Fourth, decision-making. How do adjunct faculty participate in the decision-making process? And fifth, coworker perception. What are your thoughts and attitudes about adjunct faculty? Responses to these questions will be synthesized using the three cultural frames to discuss the complementary and competing values among each of the five organizational elements we explore. First, let's take a look at the three cultural frames and their application to the use of adjunct faculty in the department. To best understand the critical issue of the growing use of adjunct faculty in higher education today, let's take a look at how the Department of Business and Economics at Bethel University uses adjunct instructors to meet operational needs through the lens of three cultural frames, collegial, bureaucratic, and spiritual. First, we need to define organizational culture. 
I believe that organizational culture reflects the shared patterns of differences in an organization. Culture is simply how we do things around here. It's important to recognize that organizational cultures are unique and perceived differently by people. Moreover, organizational culture impacts the thoughts and behavior of people. This simple fact has a profound impact on organizations. Members play a key role in shaping organizational culture. The shared patterns of thought, feeling, and behavior that define organizational culture through its members, full-time and adjunct faculty in particular, also define the experience and effectiveness of students and learning in the Department of Business and Economics. Put more simply, faculty have a profound impact on organizational culture, which defines the educational experience and overarching organizational success. Now, let's define each of the three cultural frames in higher education we'll take a look at. Collegial, an environment where responsibility and authority is shared by colleagues. Bureaucratic, a highly organized environment where everyone has their place. And spiritual, an environment that emphasizes the whole self, meaningfulness, and values. We understand the complexity of colleges and universities requires a multimodal approach to leadership, management, and communication. In short, education is complex, requiring multiple perspectives to understand culture and the impact of culture on organizational performance and results. This should come with little surprise as people perceive organizations in a number of ways. The predominant collegial culture of the business department is one in which participative decision-making and a perception of faculty, regardless of status or position, as colleagues defines not only structure, but values and beliefs regarding collaborative Christian business higher education. The foundation of our collaboration with students was set by Bethel's founder, John Alexis Egrin, who spoke of the teacher-student relationship as being one of real friendship and helpfulness. This friendship guideline influences teaching, scholarly projects, advising, and mentoring in the department. It also leads faculty to participate with students in student life activities, spiritual formation endeavors, and other non-academic events. As a result, department faculty offer a high-touch environment with an emphasis on holistic education, academic, spiritual, and social, practical experience, and job placement. This high-touch environment is one in which faculty are involved with students and faculty challenge and support students as well as each other. The high-touch approach presents a unique challenge for adjunct faculty, most of whom have day jobs that prohibit office hours on campus outside of their classroom facilitation, a challenge we'll discuss later in this analysis. The composition of the department faculty ties directly to curriculum and courses taught in each program. Every adjunct faculty member has an academic, professional, or mix of both qualifications to be an expert in their field of study. Most adjunct business faculty have years of practical experience in their discipline, bringing current experience and practice into the classroom. Since faculty are academically qualified, professionally qualified, or both, they possess a deep depth and breadth of knowledge to educate students in both theory and practice. As with many academic departments in higher education, a multimodal approach to leadership, management, and communication defines organizational culture of the Department of Business and Economics. Multiple cultural frames help us to best understand the organization. That's evident at the intersection of the collegial and bureaucratic cultural frames. These two frames often conflict and complicate organizational values, beliefs, and norms. That said, it's not uncommon to see strong bureaucratic and collegial elements as we do in the Department of Business and Economics. While adjunct faculty are valued as colleagues by their full-time counterparts, a distinct hierarchical structure defines the role and responsibility of an adjunct faculty member within the department. In this highly organized environment, adjuncts have their place at the lowest levels of the organization. After all, it's not uncommon to hear a comment like, well, it's just an adjunct faculty member. Adjuncts are viewed as lesser status contributors, meant to facilitate classroom instruction, not necessarily contribute at the level of their full-time faculty counterparts. This reality of the bureaucratic frame conflicts with the overwhelming collegial elements of the department's culture. We'll explore this dichotomy more throughout our analysis. The spiritual perspective in organizations impact the work lives of faculty, staff, and students. Spirituality should not be confused with religion. Spirituality is an inner, private process where religion is an outward, public one. 
To be clear, the discussion here is less about the fact that the Department of Business and Economics is aligned with the religious affiliation and Christian values of Bethel University, and more about the spiritual elements that define organizational culture. The Department of Business and Economics frames the learning environment from a spiritual perspective, as a Christian learning community committed to pursue and practice what is true, to excel in academics, to collaborate in learning, integrate Christian faith into life, and engage Christian maturity in scholarship, leadership, and service. This educational philosophy is evidenced in several ways by the department. First, Christian faith is viewed as being relevant to the study of business and integrated into the curriculum. Second, the department rewards academic excellence and leadership by providing students with academic scholarships and by recognizing outstanding academic achievement and leadership. Third, opportunities abound for students to serve through Bethel's Business and Economics Association, a student organization, and the Bethel Business Economics Tutoring Lab, as well as experiential service learning opportunities provided by faculty. The department's vision is to engage students in transformational education, defined by beliefs, driven by values, and evidenced by choices. Christian beliefs and spirituality are central to the department's existence. Bethel's Covenant for Life Together provides a view of belief and serves as a critical artifact of spirituality and culture. Bethel's core values are often in front of members and can be viewed on Bethel's websites, literature, and physical facilities like the department's new space for the Department of Business and Economics. This spiritual perspective provides the foundation for department faculty, staff, and students to make meaning, shape community, and demonstrate the most meaningful personal and organizational values. To navigate these complexities of the Department of Business and Economics, we'll compare the collegial, bureaucratic, and spiritual cultural frames through organizational elements that define these cultural frames. These organizational elements include leadership, the act of influencing people and organizations, structure, the arrangement of authority and responsibility in an organization, communication, the means of sending and receiving information, decision-making, the process of making choices, and coworker perception, the thoughts and attitudes of colleagues with one another. To complete our matrix analysis of the Department of Business and Economics, use of adjunct faculty, we'll compare and contrast these organizational elements and address the concerns and opportunities that emerge. Although most agree in the department that adjunct faculty do not have a formal leadership role within the department, it's evident that the main leadership role of adjunct faculty members are in the classroom. The department counts on adjunct instructors to lead students in learning through challenge and support. Consistent with the collegial culture of the department, adjunct faculty also lead by serving as a part of a team of educators, making decisions about how to best educate students. Congruent with the spiritual frame, adjunct faculty bring real-world business experience into the classroom to help students shape their worldview and approach to Christian business leadership. As such, adjunct faculty help keep curriculum relevant. Full-time faculty are generally not active practitioners and have less exposure to the current business environment. They tend to become more isolated the longer they teach. It's vital to bring in adjunct faculty who have first-hand knowledge of the current environment and trends in business and leadership. But the bureaucratic elements of the department's structure surface in leadership as adjuncts are excluded from some department faculty votes. While adjuncts are invited and encouraged to attend department meetings, some decisions voted on by the faculty exclude adjunct instructors from department votes. Moreover, the majority of adjunct faculty have regular jobs outside of the department which prevent them from participating in regular department meetings. While adjunct faculty are the first among equals in the leadership of classroom and academic experiences, the reality is that adjunct leadership experience is largely based on the low status and level in the position and in the department which results in a lesser role in department leadership. When it comes to structure, adjunct faculty certainly have authority in their classroom and responsibility to their students. They also have the same within the department. The department could not function without adjunct faculty, so adjuncts certainly have more authority and responsibility than they sometimes realize. This is an important reality. While the collegial culture of the department 
promotes the authority and responsibility of adjunct faculty, the hierarchical structure contradicts and in some cases prevents the full participation of adjunct faculty in the department structure. As an example, professional development opportunities provided for full-time faculty are not extended to adjunct faculty in the department and throughout the university. Structurally, resources are not dedicated to support adjunct faculty when they face issues with syllabi, text, and technology. The department and the university structure could better support full participation of adjunct faculty with enhanced development and support. After all, ample flexibility to create meaningful classroom learning experiences is afforded to each adjunct, which is found through the spiritual cultural frame and is prevalent within the department. It's also important for adjunct faculty to understand their role in self-advocacy within the structure. With a multimodal cultural reality of the department, most successful adjuncts should not settle for the simplicity of the hierarchy. Instead, they need to advocate for the needed support and find opportunities to engage in meaningful ways through the authority and responsibility provided to them through the circular and varied structures of the collegial and spiritual frames collectively. Perhaps the most harmony between the three cultural frames is found in the communication of the department. Influences from collegial, bureaucratic, and spiritual frames work together to create strong communication and a sense of clarity. Specifically, in true bureaucratic form, most information is transmitted through the department chair who serves as the direct supervisor and link for adjunct communication. Administratively, much of that communication is via email based on the time constraints and transient nature of adjunct teaching schedules. Influenced by strong collegial nature of the department, there have been efforts to connect adjuncts with full-time faculty in the areas in which they teach. Finally, the department benefits from a strong personal and open connection between members. This results in informal information sharing, relationship building, and a sense of belonging. Each of these are critical ingredients for clarity among adjunct faculty. When it comes to decision making, adjunct faculty are invited to attend department meetings and to participate in decision making. Only a small portion of them attend, however, as most have full-time jobs. The collegial nature of the department is perhaps best represented in decision making, where each faculty member has a vote in most operational and academic decisions. Adjunct faculty participate most readily in decision making by coming to department meetings. An important note is that adjunct faculty are not required to be a part of these meetings as they're time consuming and many must balance outside professional business work and leadership responsibilities. In somewhat of a cultural contradiction, adjunct faculty are excluded from some departmental votes, staffing decisions as an example. The bureaucratic rationale here is that most adjuncts have responsibility and authority only in the classroom. As such, these members lack the context and objectivity to participate in such decision making. Adjuncts faculty members further find decision making opportunities by building relationships with full-time faculty in their field and with the department chair. Decisions are made through relationships where cooperation and consensus are valued. Influenced by the department's spiritual cultural frame, each member truly values all input, placing person above the issue to come to the best alternatives for any given situation. This allows collaborative decisions to be made formally and informally. It's important to note that cooperation between the participative and cooperative decision making stemming from the collegial and spiritual cultural frames in the department. Perceptions of adjunct faculty among coworkers are best described in the department by the collegial and spiritual frames. Most in the organization believe that adjunct faculty are vital to an effective, relevant academic and student experience. Faculty perceive significant value in the real-world experience adjunct faculty bring to the classroom and to the department as a whole. Members of the department feel that adjuncts bring unique expertise and diversity of thought to the department and, more importantly, to the student experience. With this expertise, adjuncts work alongside full-time faculty to create a dynamic learning environment that challenges students to define and grow their faith to the benefit of their own future, that of their organizations, our community, and the world. From a bureaucratic lens, adjunct faculty are often seen as workers who have the primary responsibility to deliver positive classroom experiences. Narrower than the collegial or spiritual frame, this context is helpful to understand the dynamics surrounding the attitudes coworkers have about adjunct faculty. 
in the spirit of collegial and spiritual frames, co-workers recognize that they cannot do their jobs without adjunct faculty. The department unquestionably needs reliable, responsible teaching professionals as adjuncts. Our matrix now helps us to understand how these five organizational elements in each of our three cultural frames define the opportunities and challenges for the use of adjunct faculty in the department. In short, adjunct faculty are critical to the long-term financial and academic success of the Department of Business and Economics at Bethel University. Like many colleges and universities today, the use of adjunct faculty is a necessity to compete in higher education. In business education, these practitioners bring real-world leadership experience into the classroom, complementing theory with practice. So based on this analysis, there are three distinct opportunities for the use of adjunct instructors in the Department of Business and Economics at Bethel University. First, invest in adjunct faculty development. Provide for meaningful access to development opportunities designed to make adjunct faculty better in their work in and out of the classroom. Consider a simple faculty mentorship relationship to promote development. Second, leverage real-world leadership experience. Look to adjunct faculty to complement the academic role of full-time faculty. Embracing the hierarchical role of adjunct faculty in their primary position in the classroom while emphasizing the flexibility to create meaningful and transformational classroom experiences and promoting strong relationships between adjuncts and their full-time colleagues to improve student business learning and outcomes. Third and finally, integrate adjunct faculty. Reconcile the hierarchical organization of the department with the expressed value of adjunct faculty to the department's operation and student experience. Seek opportunities to include adjuncts in meaningful decision-making and responsibilities in the department. Adjunct faculty are important to the department and student success. Our cultural frames, defined by organizational elements, demonstrate the enduring value of these practitioners in the department. While challenges certainly exist, a multimodal understanding of organizational culture helps us to chart a path with these opportunities in the use of adjuncts.